Hi, I'm here at the Adobe Beat TV Online Advertising Summit in Chicago at Starcom's offices. We had a great morning, two panels, really great conversation, push, pushing the envelope, the industry and online video and advertising and what it means for our brand clients. Uh, the morning consist panel consisted of a Starcom, CBS, Dailymotion, and AOL, all talking about online video and the importance uh, that that, along with the multi-screen value proposition for advertiser, plays in the space. So Tracy Shepak in particular talked about two campaigns she's doing right now that are for the first First time national household level addressable, which is an incredible success and a feather in her cap. It's been something she's been aspiring to now for many years. It's with Allstate and Warby Parker, done through the innovations team. Um, it's a really interesting time coming, right? There's not necessarily an interactive element, but more and more what interactive television is changing because it's becoming TV itself, as well as what we talked about holistically, video is a four multi screen proposition. And the effects of how that changes media planning buying are yet to be determined. We know that big data is a big part of it, but how big data is going to get before it becomes overwhelming and the fire hose needs to be shut off is part of the, I think, the, the nature of the conversations today. Uh, CBS talked about its multi-screen value proposition. They are the most social television network, doing some really interesting things with a fourth quarter slate. But in particular, how at the end of the day, it's about th selling 30 second spots where the bread is buttered and the digital inventory they provide, the multi-screen value proposition is still about the audience they reach through TV and everything else is a channel by which they can participate and engage their consumers in a different way as an advertiser but they're still buying 30 second spots. And it was an incredibly refreshing opportunity to have a very frank and candid conversation with a network today. Um, we had Daily Motion and AOL, both who have doubled down. Daily Motion's business model is online video. They're curating channels based on passion points of consumers, which is a really different and interesting way versus scripted television and a network television model to buy audiences, right? Around passion points of music, of sports, affinities, et cetera. And they're really seeing a lot of success specifically on live programming, which is interesting because that's live programming has been what has thwarted or slowed down and sort of shifted us from the fear of cord cutting to maybe cord trimming on the television subscriber base side of the business. Um, AOL talked a lot about Huffington Post Live. Right now, they're at five days a week, 12 hours a day. Uh, they have over 1.1 billion video views uh, this, sh this year, I believe, 61 million uniques. Their video business is up 70% year over year, and they're seeing premiums hold because they're better, better able to actually target audiences and reach audiences. And Huffington Post Live is a very unique value proposition because the real-time nature of the content and the publishing model, brands are integrated into sight, sound, and motion into video that is created uh, live in real time in a very organic way and in an editorial nature. The afternoon we shifted focus mostly because um, we had some very interesting stakeholders. We had Comscore, Vizu, slash, uh, which is now part of Nielsen. We had Michael Glantz from Forrester who just wrote a report on GRPs uh, and eGRPs or digital GRPs in particular and how that affects things. Uh, and we also had our great sponsor, um, Carrie Ross from Adobe participate. So we talked sort of about Adobe and their, whole, their value uh, proposition and specifically their suite of tools for marketers and publishers. And interesting how what they're enabling is the ability of first party data and specifically the tools that are used to create and publish first party owned content or media and leverage that to better serve and deliver targeted advertising on the media buying and planning side of the business, on the paid side of the media business. And this is interesting, right? Because part of that's been a challenge within the agency and the advertising industry, sort of straddling the chasm between the creative side of the business and the media side of the business. And what was interesting also about the later part of the day is that we had this revelation at the end of the panel. We were talking so much about media, about data, targeting, waste, uh, reach, frequency, et cetera. We didn't talk a lot about effectiveness specific as it relates to creative. And that was something that we know needs to be part of the agenda because as we look at more targeted mediums, as you know, I've been pretty, uh, pretty vocal about the fact that I'm a big believer that we need bespoke and targeted creative that is optimized by channel. And that was something we really didn't address. We talked about GRPs and its need and the sort of confluence of events that seem a bit in conflict that we're talking about taking a medium which is digital and almost bringing it back to the dark ages of buying audience that we can tap into the larger dollars of TV, which is time and time again what we know, which is why we hear the phrase digital dimes of TV dollars. At the end of the day, it's about where the revenue is harnessed and the greatest spend exists, and that's in television. So if we have to pull back and slow up digital a little bit for the sake of enabling it to be compared apples to apples for brands to television, which is where the lion's share of their spend still lies, then I think the industry is willing to do that. What came, besides the fact that we noticed that creative was sort of absent from the conversation, we talked about the use of data, things like AOD, uh, demand side platforms, trading desks, et cetera. And then we talked about creative optimization. 
the reality is that at the end of the day, the cost of doing business is getting greater for advertisers and brands. And we need to figure out where the mine jointly as an industry, the efficiencies and economies, so that programmatic and, and automated buying actually does, in fact, create economies and efficient efficiencies and delivers to the promise that it's been offering to market. And brands are able to actually invest, make the investment on creative. What I know holistically is that at the end of the day, the space right now is about step changes, not sea changes. There's not going to be an automatic sort of, you know, turn of the tides where programmatic buying or trading desks, et cetera, change things. It's still human decision making, human interaction, and human business logic that is going to drive uh, where investments for brands go. And at the end of the day, it is the quality of the content, the storytelling, and the editorial talent that will drive investments in online video. It was a great morning. I'm so happy to have been here. I welcome you to reach out questions, comments, Ashley at furious-minds.com and keep tuning into BTV. Thanks.